All right, and <clears throat> welcome. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Marvel Collector Core First Appearance Avengers. This is the August box. Um, if you've watched my last one, that was the Spider-Man, that was uh, June's box, and I was not too happy with that and threatened that I was going to cancel. But as usual, I didn't shut it, so I didn't. Um, I've not had... Don't know anything about this box. I've stayed away from spoilers. So opening it just now is the first time with you guys. So I have slit it already, so I've not opened it yet. So let's do it and have a quick look. So on the side, the first appearance, Marvel Collector Court, first appearance, Avengers. And again, we get the Marvel Collector Court uh, sign there. And just a bit of information where you can find it's powered by Funko. I'm assuming that's the address and what's well, assembled in Mexico. There you go. But obviously the pops come from Vietnam, China, things like that. And again, the Marvel Collector Core symbol on the side. <clears throat> on the top, we have a picture of Thor. Um, as a kind of cartoon first appearance picture. And I'm not going to show you the bottom because that is just, uh, as you see from there, the stamp from and my address and everything that I was too lazy to actually score out because I forgot. So, open it. As I said, I already have pre-cut it, but let's have a look and see. So on the front, apart from all the artwork, it's very nice. I mean, the boxes are very detailed. So there. Yeah, apart from the artwork, we have the patching pin. So let's see. So the patch, as you can see, is Captain America. It's actually quite a nice patch, consider them. Um, some of them were getting a bit ropey, so they were. Um, let's see if we can get them out. This one is actually quite nice. So it is. It feels nice. And I like that as well, how they like, kind of overlaps the badge. And as you can see, the shield um, was his very, very first ever shield. Yep, nice patch. I like that. I like that. I'll just leave that over there. And let's see about the pin. So the pin is, let's have a look, it is Nick Fury. Let's get him out and see. Come on, here we go. And these are pins. The, pin, the pins are really good with these. Um, you do get a bit of weight to them. Yeah, so focusing now. Um, as you can see from Nick Fury, those who didn't know, if Nick Fury boys actually played by a white man and not just Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, back in the day when he first came into it, that's how he looked. So, it is. so again, that's a nice pop, but for me, Nick Fury is Samuel L. Jackson. I mean... Absolute badass, and for me, he, Samuel L. Jackson is the perfect person to play him. So, as so that's that. Let's have a look in here. What we got next? So, patching the pin, I'm happy with. I don't actually want to see what there is. So, we've got a bit of cardboard that I'm going to move out of the way, and then we get a T-shirt. And looking at it, that's actually quite nice for once. Um, I was getting fed up with these pop tees, but this one is navy blue. For those that... Let's see if I can move this back a bit. And it is an incredible Hulk. In fact, this is probably a better way to light down. The incredible Hulk, and it actually is pop version of... The Hulk, Incredible Hulk, um, first appearance in the comics. So I like what they've done with that. Really like that. That is a nice t-shirt. Very, very happy with that one, guys. Looks like this box so far is redeeming my faith. And let's see what else we've got. So what we've got left is, well, feeling wise, just two pops, which has been a while since we've had two. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. Right. That is beautiful. That is a nice pop. 
I um so as you, sorry, as you can see, sorry, I've just taken that in there. It was a wee bit all there. Marvel 238 as a collector core exclusive, and it is Iron Man Tales of Suspense number 39. This is Iron Man's first ever suit he built. The sorry, I'm I'm really looking at this. This is actually a nice pop, nice looking pop, and we'll get them out in a minute. And the, oh, there you go on the back of it. Tells you right there what what they're based on. I have seen a Dobbs version of this, and I kind of wondered to myself when they were bringing out the pop version. Uh, the only problem with these Marvel Collector Co ones is you can kind of guess what it's going to be. I kind of thought it would have been this one, based on the Dobbs that came out. Um, so, and I mean, I mean, the other ones I would love to see is old school Vision, um, old school, we've got old school Iron Man and Hulk and things, but Thor, an old school Thor, I think that would be awesome to have that. Um, look at that, sorry, this is a beautiful, beautiful pop. Let's get him out and have a proper look at him. And there he is. Now he is nice. He is nice. Detail on him, very, very plain. It does seem to be a mark on his head. But... And in his eye. Not to worry. And you've even got a big seam going right across his head. And detail on this one. Oh, focus, there we go. He actually feels, I don't know what it is, he feels very different, feels very kind of rubbery. Um, looking at the back of the head you would think that was Silver Surfer. <laughs> yeah man, there you go. So, nice wee posies in. Yeah, liking that one, like that. Right, and let's see what the other one is then. Ah, oh, no way. Called it. Look at that. Oh my word, that is nice. Sorry, the, this one is the uh, Vision, Avengers number 57. That is nice. I like, oh, I like that. And there, yeah, that's what it looks like. The, the stance and the cloak in that one. The cloak is kind of reminiscent of a Doctor Strange one, the old school Doctor Strange. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, this one's coming straight out. I am one happy camper now. That is a beautiful looking pop. I'm sorry, that is nice. He's even got the illusion that he's holding his cloak there. I'm um, sorry, I'll turn this around a bit and see if we can get it to focus a bit better. There we go. So even the detail of the eyes, the eyes are perfect with the kind of yellow, the black line around it. And then they've even put a bit of shading around the eyes. Um, we've also got the mind stone on his head. And then the detail. The cloak itself, obviously, there obviously is a big glue bit there, but that's alright. And the cloak is detached from the actual cape. I think I probably would have preferred the cape all in one piece with the head bobbling inside it. Rather than that, um, then obviously the detail with the air, he's looking like he's actually holding. Oh, come on, don't start this. The focus on this, um, the detail of it looking like he's holding the cape. It's a nice look. The colours on this one just pop. It is very bright. I don't know if the camera will pick up properly, but the colours are very bright on it. I don't even know if that's red or... A kind of pink. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this a wee bit better. Yeah. <clears throat> Does that pick up better? He doesn't really. There he is. That's him standing there. So that's him with the Iron Man. Lovely, absolutely brilliant, and 
looking around the box. Oh, there's nothing else in the box. So that's it for the, this month's um, Marvel Collector Core, the first Avengers, the first appearance Avengers. Let's have a look at the, the actual card itself. So in the card, it obviously tells you a bit about them. Um, T-shirt there is what we got, and that's what they're based on, the proper magazine comic. Sorry for the glare in here that I have got the light on my, camera, my phone on. Uh, that's what the box looks like, tells you a bit about it. Down in there got the final product and what they're based on. Tells you a bit about the patch and the pin if anyone wants to pause and have a read. And then on the side about the vision. So that was the, the artwork. What they're based off of. And then the design of the pop and then the colours. And then the final pop. So... Looking at it, actually, I feel like the suit is something missing. Um, we've got all this on here, but I don't feel it's as much as what we previously got in boxes. But I'll tell you what, I'm happy. See if they provide pops with the calibre of these two. I'm happy with that. I am one happy guy. So let's have a look. Oh, and on the back side, let's have a look see what's next. I'll move these guys out of the way. So the next box, which is October, is Thor Ragnarok. Now the one thing, I have a feeling we may be getting her, um, as I've not seen it. I've also seen, which, and I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler for the film, but um, I can't remember the guy's name, but the bad guy there in the trailer, um, you see Hulk jumping towards. I've seen that he is on Pop Price Guide. He is available, well, coming out is one of the newer ones. Don't know if he'll be in this um, as one of them, but what I would love to see is a six inch Gladiator Hulk. That would be awesome. So it is. Um, oh, I can't remember the bad guy's name that Hulk's jumping towards. Covered in fire, jumping towards him. He is due for release. If I can find a picture of him, I'll tag it on the end of the video because um, I have a feeling that may be the exclusive to this one. Um, but yeah, I would love six inch Hulk. And not just a normal Hulk again. Um, Hulk has to be 6 inch. Because he's bigger than the rest of them. So. There it is guys. So. Without further ado. Just a quick recap there. And there. That's the guys. I'm one happy camper. So. If you like the video. Thumbs up. If not. Sorry guys. Just remember. Take care out there. And remember. Nails need loving too. Ciao.